2017, I retired after 30 years in the Navy. And regrettably, I voted for Donald Trump. I'm embarrassed to say it, but it's the truth. And it needs to be said. And we need to do something about it together. I'm a retired Army officer that served two tours in Vietnam. I'm an Army veteran, former Army officer in the 82nd Airborne Division. Mr. Trump has abandoned our veterans with the insulting of heroes like John McCain, with the insulting of Gold Star families. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. When I see President Trump and the words he had to say about John McCain's service, it's something I will never forget and can't let go. And the same thing he's saying about General Mattis now. These are some of the greatest leaders of our time. And the way he's denigrating their service is just despicable. I voted Republican because pretty much through my career, the Republicans took better care, in my opinion, of the military, and that was important to me. But today, he scares the f out of me, man. This ban on uh, transgenders in the, in the military is just one of the most cruel policies. For no reason, he decided that people that rose their right hand, decided to defend the Constitution, the flag that's supposed to represent equality, that they are not worthy of being in the military and serving, and their sacrifice isn't the same as everyone else's. That's total b The military that I served in welcomed anyone that was willing to sacrifice their life for the Constitution and the flag. And Donald Trump, you had that choice during the Vietnam era. You decided to run away like a coward. I know when President Biden takes over that, you know, all transgender service members will be welcome. You are welcome, and thank you for your service. He has taken us to a place we, this country is not supposed to be. This is not the way the founders envisioned it. Do not let all those who have gone and died on battlefields for our democracy go in vain because of what he's doing to this country. One other thing I wanted to talk about quickly is the VA Choice Program. President Trump likes to say it's one of his greatest accomplishments. Well, it's a total lie that he's the one that started this program. I got out of the military in 2014 and I was a member of the VA Choice Program. It was signed into law by President Obama. It was a bill co-sponsored by Senator McCain and Senator Bernie Sanders back when there was bipartisanship in Congress. Donald Trump stopped trying to take credit for President Obama's accomplishment. And thank you, President Obama, for this great program. What's going on at places like Port and I watched another vet get beat the by American police forces. I don't know what that is, man, but that ain't right. I'm a lifetime Republican voter, except for in 2016, I voted third party in 2020. Definitely be supporting Joe Biden for president. I implore you to register to vote, get out there to vote. Rain or shine, you get out there and you vote. We need to make a difference together. He is no friend of veterans, and I will not vote for him. I hope that no veteran will.